A recent survey from a home services app called Thumbtack has revealed the best states and cities for small businesses to thrive. How does Louisville stack up? Well, we are about to find out. Joining us now to discuss the survey results and much more is home expert at Thumbtack, David Steckel. David, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no problem. So uh, let's just jump into this study. What are the best cities and states for small business? And of course, we want to know how does Louisville shape up? Well, we interviewed over 3,600 local professionals across the country and across all 50 states. And the results came back with the top five states being along the East Coast, Maine leading the pack, followed by New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Florida. But in regards to Kentucky, there are actually some pluses and minuses here. Overall, small business owners gave Kentucky an A on small business friendliness and an A in support of starting a small business. But Kentucky did receive a D on both taxes and training opportunities. Oh, wow. Mm. What about service businesses? Uh, how are they feeling about the economy? This was one of the best parts of the survey, and the survey came back with really good news here. There is increased optimism, and 87% of the small business owners we surveyed told them there is more than enough opportunity in their communities to thrive. This is actually up 11% from 2019. But that being said, some major challenges do remain for these owners. The cost of operating a business and the labor shortage continue to be the biggest roadblocks for them. What are some of the top locations for uh, female-owned and minority-owned businesses? This was actually the next best part of getting back the survey results. It turns out that over almost half of the businesses that began last year were actually minority-owned, and the states leading with a supportive environment for starting a minority-owned business were Virginia, Florida, Georgia, and Maryland. And specifically for women entrepreneurs, the friendliest states for them Again, Maryland, Washington, Georgia, and Virginia. So as a home expert, what are some of the top considerations for people starting new projects and seeking out local small businesses? My suggestion here is always the same. And when you're beginning a new project, it's actually crucial to understand where you wanna be at the end of your project. What is the outcome you're hoping to achieve? Why do you wanna go down this road in the first place? And then work back from there. An example would be, if you want to plan an outdoor kitchen because you love hosting, you actually have to start planning that probably three to six months before the summer so that the project will not only be ready for the 4th of July, but that you'll have a local professional who's the best for the project you're looking for to do the work. You'll have the materials available for that pro to complete the job. And of course, don't forget, start every project on Thumbtack because that's why we're here. We're here to help you tackle all of your jobs from the small ones like gutter cleaning to the big ones like building out that dream kitchen. And finally, David, where can people go for more information? So to read more about the survey, it's thumbtack.com backslash survey. And to connect more with your local pros in your area, just download the app at either of the app stores or go to thumbtack.com. All right, David, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.